As of April 2024, Nigeria's headline inflation rate increased to 33.69% from 33.20% recorded in March 2024. This shows that in comparison to March 2024, the headline inflation rate for April 2024 increased by 0.49 percent points. In April 2024, the headline inflation rate was 11.47 percent points higher year on year than it was in April 2023. That's 22.22 percent. This illustrates how the headline inflation rate increased between April 2023 and April 2024. In addition, April 2024's headline inflation rate was 2.29% on a month-over-month -month basis, 0.73% less than March 2024's rate of 3.02%. This suggests that the average price level in April 2024 will increase at a slower rate than it did in March 2024. For more perspective, I'm joined by chartered accountant, Aki Fatuge. Aki, thank you for joining us. Always a pleasure, Felicity. Thank you for having me. Many analysts anticipated not in less than 34%, but let me get your reaction to the 33.69% rate and what your expect expectations was. You put it very poignant. Very poignant uh, when you said that um, slow, positive, um, compared year on year. Yes, 33.6% now being projected by the Bureau of Statistics versus the 32.45%, um, which was the immediate burst, is still within the 34% swing. Um, we are not yet there. Yes, even though the prognosis on a lag on large business is indicating that um, it may be slowing down and positive. But we are not yet there. We are not yet there. We are not yet in a smiling mood yet. Um, what factors do you think are responsible for this? I tell you a couple of uh, the capital injection to try and stabilize the foreign exchange market. We still keep on getting the clap from the monetary side, and it's not loud enough because the, the fiscal is yet to respond adequately. So that does by the capital injection, it's still there. We still have the palliatives that are in fits and starts, helping to look at food, food inflation, and that is still not helping us to really quantify the galloping inflation that we have on on our hands uh, so there is really nothing to celebrate like i said um, the security concerns are still ongoing uh, we still have the efcc breathing down um, the neck of the ministries departments and agencies so the fear of the efcc in terms of trying to drive transparency and accountability is on the latest being their call that um, embassies in nigeria should invoice um, and charge their fees in Naira. Again, we are still uh, looking at it. I think the lag of this will perhaps come up in the next month or month inflation numbers that we might be looking, might be looking at. Yeah. Uh, beyond the slow pace of increase, what Nigerians want is actual deceleration. Do you see that happening anytime soon? Felicity, I, deceleration is a mirage. Uh, it's a mirage because um, we still have the unstable flip-flop policy, some assaults in policy, policy reversals that are still ongoing, that are still not clear, either in the way we interpret how these policies should affect, you know, the holoi poloi. We are still battling, uh, I guess, say, with issues surrounding the minimum wage. The labor is virtually... Um, setting a target and saying, look, uh, the tripartite committee must come on and make final decisions. And I see that government is still wobbling and um, a bit fumbling in terms of the kind of delay. We have issues surrounding infrastructure delay, and clearly there is uh, low productive capacity. So uh, as far as 
I see and I can I can, I can, I can project deceleration in the immediate terms is not foreseeable realistically. Okay. The, the, the Serbian governor has made it clear that the MPC might maintain its tightening policy. Doesn't this bother you, seeing that beyond money supply, there are structural issues that contribute to Nigeria's inflation? No, facility. Um, I am not really bothered. And I'll give you my reasons. Um, we have more liquidity that is cutting and um, moving around idly in the system, outside the banking system. The CBN just made a hue and cry that despite the attempt to try and mop the excess liquidity, a lot is still outside the banking system because of lack of trust. Okay? And um, speculators are still sketching around the system, um, still speculating that uh, the flip-flops that are on there is still not well tightened. Yeah. So the structural problems that I mentioned about uh, insecurity is still standing like Yoruko Gidiba there. Yeah. We're not getting out of it. FDI injection is still, you know, um, still being very, very cautious. Uh, the Naira fell um, dramatically at um, the parallel and um, the official windows uh, lately. And very soon we are going to be having about 1.3 um, billion of bonds that are going to mature going to put a lot of pressure on the Naira. So the excessive liquidity that you have in the system, the speculation, the fact that the infrastructure is still not there, plus policy um, um, flip-flops tells me that come May 21, um, we might either be increasing um, the, the tightening uh, that the CBN has continued to, to undertake uh, since the beginning of this year, I and we might be able okay. to even see a little bit more in interest rates. Okay, okay. you are the second person I'm speaking with today who doesn't have too much um, enthusiasm with uh, the forecast, but we remain hopeful. Thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank you very much. We remain hopeful, but we have to do something to bring in the hope. Okay, it should not be on emptiness. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me.